All right, it's time to change our water filters. We do it like once every three months. This time it's just a little less than three months because we've been in several campgrounds, probably 15 or 20 different campgrounds in the last couple of months as we made our way from the West Coast. So we have this Evox 2 by Camcon, uh, Camco. It's a dual canister uh, water filter. And we paid for this. This is not a product endorsement. This is just a review of what we do and how we do life in our RV. So we do like to keep our water clean. Um, so this particular one has two different cartridges. One's a sediment cartridge, KDF. And this one is a carbon block cartridge. Camco does make a triple filter system as well. We have the dual filter system and it's worked out pretty well for us. You take the cartridges off by using this little tool that they give us. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Take the cartridge out. Spin it off. Always make sure, by the way, make sure that your water, regu water pressure regulator is on the intake side of your filter system. High pressure water can also damage these filters, so you want to make sure the pressure is regulated before it goes into the filter system. Like I said, this filter is a few months old. You can tell the difference. New versus old. Set those over here. That is the carbon filter, carbon block filter. I've already loosened this one, so I'll go ahead and take it off. This is a sediment KDF filter. On this side, you can see this is the new one, and this is the old one, not so bad. But time for a change anyway. Clean water is always better than dirty water. And because we have this, we don't typically use a Berkey or any kind of filtration system for our drinking water. This seems to do the trick. Our, taste, our water tastes really good most of the time. Except when we were in California, that water was not good, no matter what. All right. So now we just simply take the plastic off the filter. It has a date tag with it that we can put on here so we can date it make sure we remember when we changed it simply goes down in here back up on here spin it on we'll tighten that up the same thing on this side replace this cartridge This side does have little gaskets. Make sure you don't lose those. Those stay inside there. Inside there. Drop it in the cartridge. Same process. Spin it on. Use our wrench. Tighten it. One side. And the other. And then we will reinstall it in the system right after this. All right, we mount our system just on the outside. We don't have enough room in here for this, but being outside is fine. Intake out to the, to, the, to the RV. I have these quick connects, which makes life a little bit easier. And I'm not ready for this part. Here we go. And this is coming from the water faucet here at the campground. Plug that in. I'm gonna turn this on. You're gonna find out there's some air in the system for, the, for a while. Let your water run at your faucet for a couple of minutes in order for the water to flow through, get the air out of the system. And you're all set, ready for the next change in three months.